So in this video, we're going to be switching from the Mate desktop, which is what we're looking at here, to Budgie. Now, I picked Budgie with help from the Open Build Service, which is a platform that is provided by or maintained by OpenSUSE. If you've never been here, it's just kind of a table with a bunch of links in it. But if you go deeper, specifically into all projects and then pick maintenance or factory, Factory is the next OpenSUSE distribution, which is effectively Tumbleweed. You can search for any package in here and find out its source, its version, and everything. So I'm using the Mate desktop. So if, if I search for Mate, I can see all of the Mate related packages here and you can see the last time that they were changed. So before picking Budgie, which is what we're gonna look at here, I was going to do Cinnamon. Cinnamon was the other desktop I looked at, and I decided against it for two reasons. Uh, these haven't been changed in a while, and that doesn't necessarily mean that they're stale. I mean, what if the config file is set up in a way that always gets the latest version? In which case, it wouldn't ever need to be changed. But if you go deeper and look in the spec file, you'll see that this is Cinnamon version 5.2.7, and it's coming straight from GitHub, which is actually pretty cool. That means that OBS pulls the source from GitHub, brings in all of these dependencies, and then builds it. But again, the problem is that this isn't the latest version and it hasn't been touched in quite some time. So if I'm going to be running a rolling release distro with a fancy desktop, I kind of want the latest version, both for features and stability. So that kind of crosses Cinnamon off the list. So let's take a look at Budgie. Back to the top level, look up Budgie. And Budgie about a month ago for the screensaver. And the actual desktop was again a month ago. So we'll drop in here and take a look at the spec file. I'm not super experienced or knowledgeable about OBS, so if the dot spec file is not what you're supposed to look at, I think that the dot, the underscore service file has basically, oh, maybe not. It includes like the SHA and stuff, but you can see that it's coming from GitHub, the budgies, uh, buddies of budgie project. So it's not like the stale uh, fork of Budgie, or the non-fork, I guess this is the fork of Budgie. Anyway, we can see from the top level that this is Budgie Desktop 10.6.2. It's coming from the Buddies of Budgie repo. And it included the desktop view, which is a new project, I believe, or a new, uh, a new like library from upstream Budgie. So I can look at this and be assured that this appears to be the very latest version of Budgie. And this is also cool too. It conflicts with the GNOME shell and they include a uh, forum post to explain why this conflicts is here. This is just awesome. This is OBS provided by or maintained by OpenSUSE. So now that that long spiel is out of the way, let's go ahead and install the thing. I'm gonna use Yast, the actual GUI Yast, because I love it. Pops open nice and quick. Admittedly, I did open this just a minute ago and it had to do like a whole repo refresh and that took almost a minute. So it's not exactly the fastest thing in the world. I cut out that the, the part where it's having to download everything so that you guys didn't have to see it. So I'm gonna to go to Patterns in Yast and Budgie might be in here. There it is. Cool. So I'm not going to get rid of Mate. I'm going to keep it around. It's not that I don't like Mate. I just don't like Mate. No, but seriously, it's just like buggy and off. And I don't know. Like, for example, let me get this going. Uh, we, we need to deinstall GNOME. Why do I even have GNOME Bluetooth? That's where did this come from? From Mate? That's actually a, a problem that I have with Mate is if you look at OBS, let's get this downloading and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I wanted to show here is even though Mate is technically a very small and lightweight desktop environment, it's a fork of GNOME 2 and it brings with it a whole bunch of old GNOME, possibly deprecated libraries that it may not even use but are linked for legacy reasons. And it looks like Budgie is done. That was really fast. That was two minutes. That was two minutes to download 300 megabytes, which actually isn't that fast, but hey. So let me show you a couple last things uh, that Mate does weirdly. 
So one issue is that I can't seem to empty the trash. I don't know why this opened over there, but okay. Uh, so it's just gonna hang here. And then in the last video, I showed you that you can't copy and paste in Pluma anymore. It just crashes. So what I did was I copied the word my computer and tried to put it into Pluma and it just crashed. So test one, two, three, control V and then bam, it's dead. So uh, the trash is still not emptying. <laughs> And the last thing I want to show you is if we look in the journal, we'll probably see a whole bunch of these weird errors. Oh, there we go. Ah, it finally finished. Now, what I didn't show you is only had a couple items in there. I should have showed that because it, it might seem like there was a ton of stuff in there, but there was hardly anything. So I don't, I don't know why it took so long to delete all that. But you can see Brisk Menu Factory is throwing all of these errors and if you look close here's brisk menu again all of the logging is being funneled through the brisk menu so if we go further up uh see look at, look at all this brisk menu factory fellas this is from obs this, is, this has nothing to do with mate <laughs> so this might just be a cosmetic thing but i mean if you look at the log here, it's hard to see what the heck is going on because I know that this is OBS because I know what OBS looks like, but the logs make it look like it's coming from Brisk or the Mate panel. So I don't know what the heck is configured here, but yeah, Mate is just strange. And it was also, it wasn't this janky on Debian, but it was also janky on Debian. So I'm hoping that good old Budgie will come to save us. So let me stop this and restart it once we're in Budgie. All right, so on one hand, it launched really, really fast. But on the other hand, the system is really screwed up, which isn't that surprising. But I am a little surprised that it's this screwed up. So what you can't see is that this is the wrong monitor. This is my HP and I should be on my Asus. So let me see if we can fix that. Honestly, it doesn't look a whole lot different. I'm already struggling. Like how do I get to the settings? Budgie Control Center? Budgie Desktop? Is it Budgie Control Center? It is. This is just GNOME settings, but okay. Um, I'm very quickly redeciding, reconsidering whether this is the way. HP needs to be over here and Asus is the primary. How do I make it primary? Ah, primary is a drop down. Every other monitor configuration, it's like a button that you that you press or something, or like a checkbox, but I guess in GNOME it's a drop down. Which is silly because if you had a ton of monitors, then I mean I guess maybe it's just a different way of showing them. So now we're recording on Okay, so OBS figured it out, that's good. This looks just like brisk. Which isn't that surprising because wasn't Brisk a Solus project thing? So I don't know what's going on with the terminal. Let me see if Tilex is working. Okay. So what is this thing? Is this GNOME terminal? Yeah, it is. This is one thing I don't like. <laughs> this is something I don't like about Linux desktop, period. This isn't GNOME. This is Budgie. So why are we looking at GNOME terminal? Now Budgie is based on a lot of GNOME technologies. But as far as I know, it doesn't require the GNOME terminal. So that also means that when I typed in terminal, it used to point to Tilex, but now it points to GNOME terminal. And I did not ask for that. So that's a little bit annoying. While we're here, let's take a look at the default. So this is another annoyance. I used to be able to search for default applications, but now there's nothing found. So I have to go all the way into settings. Uh, not this. That's desktop settings. I need to go to Budgie Control Center, which is not desktop settings. Let's search for default applications. And Firefox is my only option. Do I have Chrome? Wait a second. I don't think my flat packs are showing up. So um, the Zoom. Unfortunately, I do have to use Zoom sometimes for meetings. I'm not proud of it, but at least it's sandboxed and it is not showing up here. Let's try a let's try a restart really quick. Let's do a zipper dup just to make sure we didn't do something stupid. And then we'll do a restart. 
to see if it fills that up and we can actually search for flat packs. There probably won't be any updates. Oh, there's a lot of updates actually. Oh, there's a whole snapshot. Okay, let's do this and then we'll reboot and I'll see if the, the start menu thing is back in action. And we're back in Budgie and guess what? No OBS, no Zoom. I forgot that Chrome is installed. Chrome? Chrome is installed from Flatpak. I, I have two different Firefoxes installed. One is from the system and the other is from uh, Flathub. And that's not showing up here. So this menu does not appear. I can't even edit it. Is it actually, don't you have to open the Budgie Control Center thing? Let's see if there's another launcher that somehow, this isn't it. Ugh. Actually, right click doesn't work at all. Oh, Raven looks terrible. Let me fix my theme, actually. Raven was one of the reasons why I wanted to switch to Budgie. I wanted to, to use the calendar and, and be able to switch the my outputs and stuff from this guy right here. But not if it's gonna not if it's gonna look like that. I think that it's a styling thing. I don't want the control center though. Where what am I missing here? Budgie desktop settings, that's it. Okay, so let's switch to something. Adapta should be complete, or, or actually Numex is a style that is really comprehensive and it has styles like style sheets for pretty much every desktop. But to be honest, it looks a little dated, Not maybe not the best looking uh, style and theme, but it does have styles for Raven. So the reason why it looked like not good <laughs> is because of the, the, the strange Geeko theme that I've been running. And this, this looks better. I wonder if the terminal is fixed. Ah, the terminal is fixed. So it was broken because of my, uh, my style. Okay, so that makes me feel a little bit better. I still don't know about the flat pack situation. I wanted to try to add a new applet to see, this is called the budgie menu, show menu label. Okay, so that's that. Looks like we can change the menu icon, which is good. The Matei, the Matei one, I couldn't change it, which always annoyed me. Well, the budgie, the budgie menu is simple for sure. I don't know if, if it is the culprit though. I wanna try adding another menu. I don't know what other menus there are. Is there, is there another menu? It actually doesn't look like there is. So let's change the background really quick. I mean, this background, you can't right click either. Are you kidding me? That that feels so unnatural. I should be able to right click here. Maybe it's a desktop icons thing. Let's see. I should be able to right click the desktop and have have a context menu pop down. That, that just feels off. I've turned the desktop icons on, but nothing has popped up yet. Okay, well, let's change the background. That That can't go wrong, can it? Of course, it doesn't find any of my pictures, not in my picture folder or my wallpaper folder or my previous wallpaper. So I don't know where it's even getting this from. All right, this one seems applicable. It's a little bright, but it'll do. So we got a file manager and do we still have uh, Matei's Kaha? What? How does it not find, it didn't uninstall Matei. Do we have Pluma? We have Pluma, but where did Kaha go? Can I save? No, it still crashes if you hit Control C or Control S. Where the heck did the, f can I launch it from the terminal? Okay. Uh, I don't know where the heck this menu is getting its information from, but it's wrong. It's weird that it can find my games, like here's Steam, here's Streets of Rage, the Guild 3 is in there but then it can't find other stuff like Kaha. Well, this has been um, a bit of a letdown. As you can see, I'm back on Matei and unfortunately changing the desktop has also changed this desktop. I didn't add this uh, emoji chooser thing. It's just there, must've come from Budgie. And again, we're on the wrong monitor. So let me fix that. I'm just gonna type in display if I spell it right, displays and then bam. And this works because this isn't this isn't like built into a settings app. This is a standalone app, or it seems that way anyways. Like when we did this on Budgie, it was built into that control panel, which was not indexed. 
here I can just search display and then pop this up. So I, I personally find this superior to the way that Budgie does it. I don't know what, again, Mate and it's jankness. This is it right here. But for today and for probably tomorrow and the rest of the week, I will be on Mate. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. I appreciate all your support. And thanks for watching.